do a performance review and overall review, kind of in the game review for the G Sight laser training system. And I got the package, which uh, is minus one thing that you can get, but. You know, I got the laser trainer and also the uh, setup for, you know, holding your phone in position while you track it. There are great videos out there, and I'm going to do a demonstration at the end of this showing how it works and everything. But basically, you use this laser trainer. It has a red dot. It has a pressure switch on the back here, which you can see kind of, you may be able to see kind of working back here or what have you. But every time the primer strikes it, it's got a little pressure pad, and it notices that and sends out a laser. It has rubber pieces right here as you'll be able to see in this picture. And these hold pretty tight. The one thing I will say is that it doesn't really uh, work too well in tighter chambers like uh, with pistols that I have like the Honor Guard and stuff. It, it, it takes a lot to actually get it into that barrel because it's typically kind of a it's kind of a tight chamber and these little rubber pieces these black rubber pieces that you saw in the picture they really hold tight and so things like Walther pistols or HK some of the German ones that actually have chamber steps which are which basically the chamber tightens as a shelf near the end of the chamber that's supposed to seal in gases and make the ammunition a little more consistent which it actually does kind of well at um, it, it doesn't really work that well, and that's only something you see in 9mm, but this is my 9mm, so it's just something that I would uh, uh, keep into consideration. It may chew up that rubber, because it was really hard for me to get it in in the first place, and you want to slingshot it really good or use a slide release to actually slam it in, because it may take a couple of times if it's a relatively tight chamber, like my Breda PX4 Storms had a problem with that. But... Anyways, this is the box that it comes in, and this is a very nice box. Uh, you can get this alone, and it doesn't really cost that much money. It costs about this much money that will be displayed here. And on the back, it basically says, you know, the advantages of this, like use your firearm and increase your skill and other things, which will be in this picture. And on the front here, you have, you know, what it is. It's a laser trainer. It's identified by a sticker so they can use the same packaging. They just change out the uh, the inside right here, the inside packaging that carries the bullet and the three batteries. The 9mm, it needs three batteries. I don't know about the other calibers, but this one takes, you know, three batteries. And when you get the kit, see, that's the difference between what I got for this test and... Uh, the actual kit because they will actually send you with the kit a hundred of these tiny batteries with it. They'll send you a kit of a hundred tiny batteries. There are different batteries for different calibers and such, but they even have rifle calibers. And the one thing I found about this, the great thing about these rubber pieces, which is kind of similar to what the HK45 has, how it has uh, rubber pieces around the end of the barrel to give it a tighter lockup, is it actually does lock up pretty well. And it is very accurate for the basic point of aim, point of impact that you have on your pistol. So overall, I would actually say that this this single product itself is actually very nice if you just want to watch where the impact is, and you know when you're doing dry fire. This is a great source, and I've used it a good amount, and it's uh, working very well. And if you have a cat, you know I'm sure he would like to you know have fun with it as well. If you you can spare the batteries or whatever, if you have a dog that likes laser pointers like my mouths do, but Anyways, I want to talk about the next piece of gear, which is basically the holder for the phone and also the uh, little adjuster, I, I would say, for attaching it to counters and such. Now, when you get the kit, it comes with the phone holder here, which has little red pieces of rubber right here, and this extends out. It can be pretty big, and I could actually, I probably can't get away with putting my iPad in it, but it has a pretty good amount of uh, tension and this little these little slots right here pardon me these little slots right here actually at my camera uh, on my phone actually is able to see through it which is nice or you know you can stick your phone out to the side and it'll still work and it basically secures on a ball bearing sort of thing with this little screw in system right here and it works pretty well. It tightens down, and you gotta t you gotta loosen it up almost all the way to get it out because it's very tight going into 
this part of the little adjuster and there we go so it clicked in pretty good and then you can tighten it and you'll have to loosen it a little bit when you bend this into shape to kind of be able to move it around for that final movement. I do like this system, but I'll tell you right off the bat, even though this piece is flexible right here, around here it's pretty loose, and as you can see, it's not very sturdy. It moves around from side to side a lot, and it doesn't really turn side to side, but it can make it to where you have to make some awkward angles. But at the same time, that's not really that big of a deal when you uh, consider the fact that you're getting something that will secure to a countertop and I would not recommend mounting it to a tripod unless you have a specific mounting system for for this piece right here or unless you have one of those phone holders that you bought separately from this kit which may be a better option for you but I would say that I don't like this system I wish it was like a fold-out system kind of like tent stakes or something like that and then they could just have the joint right here and maybe even a second joint down here with a solid piece of metal right here to hold it because I did not really like that I had to bend this thing all different ways to get it to work and it was not sturdy when it was doing that and this has a lot of wobble right here so you can see that it, it wobbles a good amount even if you're holding it still but one thing I do like about this is you can definitely get it to clamp tight on things up to three inches deep. So countertops, definitely, I'm able to use my white tables, my white cleaning tables, and pretty much any empty surface that I can actually get all the way in here is good because it, it's not really rubber. It's almost like a foam right here uh, for padding, and it actually holds on pretty well from, you know, from my little bit of experience here. It's got little bits of teeth or whatever. But then you basically take forever to tighten it down. But it holds on pretty good as polymer. It's lightweight. You could definitely travel with it if you want, because I know there's a lot of a lot of people out there that like to travel for a competition. So, you know, it's a it's something that you could definitely do and set up. And of course, you want to be safe when you're using this. But you can definitely uh, use this on your trips. You just gotta fold it up a little bit and be careful. And you know, so there you go. And of course you take off this little system right here for the phone and just pop it off and there you go. It's very compact. The only thing I don't like about it is that you know you gotta you gotta spend a few minutes uh, toying with it. But you know that's not really a big deal if you dry fire and just set it up and then get to work. But anyways, the one thing that I will say about this system that I'm I'm really not a fan of is this right here. Everything else I'm really uh, uh, happy with. The one consideration that you're going to want to make is what it's going to take to actually get the the trainer and the laser into your firearm. So let me go ahead and cover that real quick and then we'll get to the demonstration. Okay, when it comes to getting this, uh, this little training cartridge into your pistol, basically you obviously want to make sure it's unloaded. I'll typically put in a magazine just because a lot of the firearms that I use, they don't really feel that great or they can mess with you if you're coming out of the holster and practicing. Uh, but I, you basically just drop it into the chamber right there and you can try to push it in a little bit if you wish, but you know, then... With the PX4, I didn't really have that much of an issue anymore, probably because I lubricated the chamber to help with it. But, you know, basically you can lock it back and it will not hook on the rim. If you saw the pictures, it has no, it has no rim on it that the extractor can uh, grab onto. So you can't, you know, fling it out of there like a snap cap. What I would actually recommend is that you use a cleaning rod. And polymer one. The reason for polymer is I would, uh, personally, I would be afraid of scratching it or uh, damaging the little lens, the laser lens on it. So basically you just push it out. It doesn't take too much if you have a lubricated chamber and then just get it out the ejection port or out of the magazine well. So it's, it's really that simple, but you can see the hole here. I would be kind of worried that, you know, I might hit something with it or uh, be able to make it in there, but you know, you don't have to be that that worried about it if you don't want to be but let me go ahead and do a demonstration on what it's like to get this into something like the honor guard now the honor guard might make a liar out of me but we're gonna go ahead and try it anyways again empty chamber empty magazine we're being safe doing this obvious common sense things don't be uh, trying to put holes in things putting ammunition where it's not supposed to be so we're gonna push it in and already it's uh, it's a little bit tight but it's most of the way in so it looks like it's made a liar of me then you slingshot it in and it's definitely working you know 
you can cycle it and you can see that it's flashing right here. So it flashes, it works pretty well, but again, you need to push this out and because I lubricated the chamber, it's not giving me as much of an issue. So really, I think this is a very intuitive system as far as uh, how it uh, can be used. It's very common sense if you're just one of those people that just wants to dry fire, you can move, but as long as your target is the same and you keep the, the foam still on the little holder, it can be a very good value. Speaking of value, let's go ahead and talk about prices. So the full kit, I would actually, I would actually say that it's a better value. Instead of getting everything independently, you know, the batteries and everything else, I would recommend you just get the full kit with your caliber, and that's something that they offer. So with the full kit, it's seventy dollars for everything. So the laser trainer, a hundred batteries for this little thing, and also the the mounting system. The mounting system is a great value. I mean, it's not going to break anytime soon, but it, it it can be kind of a pain to deal with, and if you know, G side is actually looking at, uh, you know, this video. The only recommendation I have is in fixing the mounting system. You could probably you know, put a fiberglass mounting system in there, and it just works off a couple of joints or whatever. I I would definitely say that's like the best upgrade and make it into a perfect system. But other than that, that's my review of the G side laser training system. G side also sells you know laser sights, and they also do. You know other things with lasers, bore siders, for instance, which I'm definitely looking at checking out with, and that should help with my rifles and stuff like that. But we'll see how it goes down the road. And thanks a lot for watching, and please leave a comment, subscribe, and definitely you know stick around for some more videos in the future. Okay, so today I'm going to do a demonstration on using the bullet for G site and their app. So I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. I'm going to go to the main menu on their app, and you have three options right here. So you can do laser training for 10 shots. This is usually the free one. This is a, this is a I believe a four dollar five dollar app right here and here. Uh, and I'm just going to go ahead and do a demonstration of the regular laser training the unlimited one and then of course you zoom in on your targeted area which is going to be basically the whole torso there and then once it stops wobbling you can press start and then there you go so you're able to begin shooting so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and use a Brita 92 FS insert the bullet like so and as I said you got to actually send it home or slingshot it really good so it'll actually get in there but let's go ahead and see where it lands so I'm going to aim for just above the red circle and now let's go ahead and look at the damage if you will so stop and it points out everywhere where it hit now if this thing is moving if this uh, camera and everything, is, or the phone is moving on the stand, it's going to be all over the place. So, I'm going to go ahead and zoom out a little bit. And let's go ahead and look at the shot timer. So, let's go ahead and go back to home. Go to shot timer. And then I'll go ahead and zoom in on my targeted area, which that's good enough. And then you have settings. You can do number of sessions, you know, shots per session, which I only have three shots per session. And then time between sessions, you know, I'll click that down to about two seconds, save some time. And then section, session length, you know, it's, it's time. So three shots in three seconds, right? And then from the ready position, you, it'll call out being ready, and you have two seconds. So that's what my setup is. So I'm okay. And then I have to zoom in. I can't zoom in until my settings are confirmed and so there we go Shooter ready. okay Okay, so that was where my hits were both times. So let me go ahead and zoom in on that. 
Okay, so as you can see, I was able to get four shots that were detected, I guess you could say. Um, yeah, so it, it doesn't, it says 29F-S, I'm not quite sure what that actually means, maybe that's, uh, I don't know, French for a second, I, I have no idea, but I did six shots total, I guess I wasn't in the time frame on some of those, but yeah, I did the little Mozambique, if you will, where it's two shots here and one to the head, I guess it just didn't register on one of them, but uh, yeah, so it can, I guess it can be kind of finicky, so I guess my conclusion of this is that it can be a handy trainer if you're just using it for dry fire, but if you're trying to actually see what your times are, I would actually recommend that you use something like one of the IPSC or IPSA uh, apps, they're free, and you can use them to basically track your times accurately. So overall, it's pretty, it's a pretty neat little thing, but anyways, I gotta walk back my slide and I'm gonna have to use a cleaning rod to get this out so yeah anyways that's uh, that's pretty much it for the G site if you want to get these apps what I recommend is going on Google Rewards getting that app and they send you surveys and you get paid for doing these little weird surveys you know asking how many people are in your household or whatever and you get like 10 cents per survey but over the time that I've had it, I collected like $30, so you can apply it to applications like this one, so you can easily, you know, this is the main screen, but you can easily pay for these extra two, but then, of course, with the 10-shot laser trainer, I'll go ahead and zoom in just for kicks, we'll see what this does. and you only get two, 10 shots. So you can see where mine all were, all of mine were nice center of mass, tracked it pretty accurately. But uh, yeah, that's basically what you're looking at as far as this app, it's pretty handy. And you know, I I can't really say that I, I dislike this, I, I just think that if they're gonna do any upgrade to this app, I would actually say to try to make the shot time, do a, a have a different setting for the shot timer where it'll actively track it like you could set it off and then it tracks the exact amount of time it took for you to do things instead of basically setting up a a, a shot timer like a, setting up a timer and then once you exceed that it goes on because I think that has some merits but at the same time being able to actively track exactly what your times are that could mean a lot more to some other people but anyways Thanks a lot for watching and let me know what you think down in the comments below.